What's up guys, it's Blaze again from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today I'm going to bring you a review of some EDC upgrades, things for your kits or your bags and things like that. The first one will be this Theorem Cell Vault here, great for holding batteries, but we're going to make a homemade fire kit. Things I'm just going to find around my house that I'm going to throw in here and make a fire kit that will be waterproof, which will be nice. And also, these anchor power cords, really durable, really nice Kevlar coated power cords. So let's take a closer look at these two things and see if they would be a nice upgrade for your EDC. These are the two power cords from Anchor. They make a six feet one and a three foot one. I will know that they are only available right now in micro USB. I hope to see them make an iPhone version later, but uh, usually anyone can find a, uh, a use for a micro USB cord and these ones will definitely prove to test out and last Usually I don't really look into the packaging too much unless it's really notable. This one is definitely notable. This is a charging cord and it comes in this very nice pouch here. It's um, it's almost a leathery type material, uh, but just looks really nice. And then you open it up with a, there's a magnet there and then there's the cord that's Velcroed in. Um, so let's look at this cord a little bit more and see how it compares to a standard cord and see what the bonuses are of getting this one rather than just buying a normal one from Walmart or one that you get with your phone or things like that. Here's what it looks like compared to a normal, uh, This is that's an iPhone cord, but that's pretty standard, the normal cord. Uh, but as you can see right away, this one definitely like holds its position more than this. This is kind of flexy and this one is more stiff and durable. And I like that. It does definitely move out and it'll stretch and bend easily, but uh, it's a little more stiff, a little more durable. And let's just get that out of the way. But um, if you can see, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but it's braided on the outside, like a nylon feeling material. And down towards the end, these are hard plastic on the outside, and then it goes to that cord right there. So if you notice on normal cords, let me get that back in here, it's pretty bendable here. And if you, if you have an iPhone cord or any, any cords that fray and bend and break right here, that will definitely not be the case with these anchor cords. They're very durable. If you go on their website, there's a lot of information about it and about the technical specs and the um, the things that they use, the stuff about laser welding and just the designs inside of these cords, but they're definitely built to last and they're coated in Kevlar, which I think is really cool. Just definitely durable cords and will get the job done and it's definitely an upgrade to your EDC. These are the two cell vaults. I have them in two setups that I carry on my EDC bag every day. This one is a fire kit, stuff that I just found around my house and put in here. And it's nice because there's some O-rings up here and this seals it tight to keep it waterproof. So if I ever needed to make a fire quickly, I have them all right here in my EDC bag. This one has four AAA batteries in it. As you can see, there's a little rattle, but uh, it really doesn't rattle on your bag unless you really move around a lot. So it doesn't really bother me. Uh, but if we open it up and look at it in here, I keep four AAAs in here. Uh, I often carry a flashlight that requires AAA, so it's nice to have four in here uh, as a backup. The blue one is a 10440, it's the same size, so it will fit in with four. But all you gotta do if you wanna put them back in, set those down, is stack them two by two and drop them into the cell vault, and then same with the next two, and they sit right on top, and it closes right back up nice and easy. So now let's unpack the fire kit. Open it up. I got a plastic bag right on the top there that is going to be a little bit hard to get to because it's really jam packed in there. But once I pinch it, it'll pull out. And there out came a bunch of stuff. So here are some Tinder Quicks that I really jammed in there. Uh, this is some this is some packaging, some little paper packaging that came in a package that we got here. And um, that's those are just nice to have as something to add on top if I needed to get a bigger flame really quick to add to light some sticks Those are nice in there and then on the bottom you can see down in there. I don't know if you can see that on camera But down in there pull them out There are a bunch of matches down there and then the striker pad that goes along with it So those are the things that I keep in here as just some quick uh, emergency things For a fire in case I ever needed it and then it all fits down in here I definitely had to smash it down really good but it all fits and it's there in case I need it. Guys, thanks for checking out this review of some EDC upgrades. We really appreciate all the views you guys give us. Be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button and check us out on other social media as well. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.